Well, underway once more, and it's going to be fascinating to see what developments occur in this second half. Juventus keep possession, and it's positive. This could level it, and a goal! That's what they wanted here, Juventus. It's level now. Well, let's take another look, and wow, how cleanly does he hit that? The keeper was never going to save it. What a good goal that is. So, a level contest. 1-1. One, one. And he might be through here. They've only gone and grabbed another one. Two goals in quick succession. Now they have the lead. No wonder they're celebrating. Well, here it is again. He goes past his marker so easily with just a drop of the shoulder. And once he gets onto it, he just smashes it past the keeper with great technique. What an emphatic finish that is. So the ball is rolling again. 2-1 the score, what's going to happen next? Will he find the net? Oh. Well, nothing comes of it. Pele! Oh. And he clears the danger. Garincha. Nemanja Vidic. It's with Petit. And here they come, still pressing for an equaliser. But they dealt with the threat first. Toro Muani. Giroud. And he's through here. And a goal to delight! Just what they were hoping for. So on with the action. And 3-1 the scoreline at the moment. Ferenc Puskas. And a fine tackle. A super tackle and they've won possession. Oh, big chance. It has to be, surely. And a goal! If there were any remaining doubts, that will settle the issue. Well, we're underway again, and there goes the final whistle, and the home fans are going to be happy about this outcome. You're absolutely right, Derek. Their attacking play was excellent, full of energy and pace, and the midfield completely dominated the game. It